What's up guys, it's me, Gem, and welcome back to another video. Like I said, I'm gonna be consistent as possible. So here I am making another video, and I think this is like my highly requested video on my Instagram. Everyone's just so curious about what I eat. So here I am doing a what I eat in a day. Let me turn off this side because it's kind of too bright. My forehead looks so shiny. Look at that pimple. Before I jump into my meals, make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss any of the notifications every time I upload a video. And also, if you don't follow me already, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram right here. I am pretty active on there and post a lot of mini workouts on there, so make sure to follow me on there. It is 10.30 right now. I normally don't eat until 10. 10 30 ish and then i stop eating around six or seven just because i don't really get hungry in the morning and i don't have an appetite in the morning and so i kind of wait i just kind of like drink a cup of water which i need to do right now this is like the slowest water as soon as i wake up you know i wash my face drink a glass of water and then i'll read a book or something um, just to clear off my mind and then I'll go ahead and like check my email My messages from my clients to see if they have any questions by the way right now I am hosting a four-week challenge with a bunch of girls and they are killing it so far This is my first ever four-week challenge So it's going good so far and I can't wait to host more So if you want to join the challenge next time make sure to follow me on Instagram because I will keep you guys updated the next challenge will be on it will be a May challenge so it'll be focused on summer body you know what I'm saying so stay tuned on that anyways my first meal doesn't start until 10 30 and because I don't have the appetite to eat and I know this is gonna sound weird but I don't like chewing my food sometimes like I get tired of chewing my food <laughs> like just because like I eat four meals a day so I feel like that's really big um, I don't like spacing it out to six meals just because I feel like since I don't meal prep I have to cook so much so I've been just trying to fit it all into three to four meals so I'm gonna show you guys what I eat every day and these are very boring. It fills my macros and that's, I'm okay with that. But I do need to start meal prepping soon. I am starting my cut. I've just been kind of struggling with it because I've been going out on the weekends and I've been busy with clients. So my progress is very slow right now. Um, but I will become strict on that. And I might make another video on like how my meal plan goes with when I'm cutting. So this is just kind of like when I'm on maintenance. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is my breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys my ingredients, but I have my food scale. My breakfast has been my oatmeal smoothie just because like it's a lot easier to make. It's super quick, especially if you're like a very busy person and you're just kind of like on the go, 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 then oatmeal smoothies probably you're gonna be go your go-to. Um, but, uh, but for my oatmeal smoothie, I add my protein shake to it. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my ingredients. I use frozen blueberries. I use rolled oats from Trader Joe's. Almond breeze, unsweetened. And for my protein, of course, I am using ghost protein. Um, and this is the whey protein in cereal milk. And oh my goodness, like, this is so yummy. I've always had the peanut butter and the cinnamon, but those are good too. But this is good for like everything. Like when I mix it all together, it kind of tastes like Oreos. I don't know, I'm weird. I add this. I don't like putting this first, okay? Because it just like gets all chunky at the bottom and it's harder to blend. So I'll just take a scoop of that and one scoop is about 24 grams of protein so this is pretty solid. That's why I don't eat <laughs> eggs in the morning anymore. 25 grams of oats. Because you know, we need our fiber. Actually, I'm gonna do 30 today because I'm feeling great. Cause I lack fiber. I feel like I don't consume enough fiber. So I need to incorporate more oatmeal. And personally, I don't like eating oatmeal. I've been eating oatmeal like, you know, like just plain oatmeal with milk or like water for like the past two years. And like, I'm starting to get tired of it. 
so and to top it off i am going to use frozen blueberries and this is super yummy i don't okay i'm very picky with food i'm picky but i'm not picky like i eat i eat a lot of weird stuff <laughs> but i'm not a big fan of blueberries like i'll i'm not picky i don't know i guess i am picky like i'm the type of food that's like i'm I'm not, I'm not a type of food but i am the type of person that's like i can't have my food touching or like i'll only eat blueberries if a or b if this is with that or this i just don't like eating blueberries by itself so i always mix it in with my drink um so this one's like one cup 140 grams so i'm just gonna do 70 because i'm not gonna eat all of this uh, all one cup that's too many sugar so probably like 70 grams because one cup is 140 so we're gonna go for 70 there you go i went 75 but it's okay ghost protein oatmeal smoothie I like putting it in this little jar because it's so cute. It makes me want to drink more. Oh my god, I'm terrible. My first meal is done. It's basically just a protein oatmeal smoothie. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. You guys should try it out. If you're gonna try this out, let me know. Tag me. Let me know if it tastes well. This is super good. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, it only tastes good if you use Ghost Lifestyle Protein. Um, so make sure you use my code GEM at checkout because that'll give you a 20% off discount. And this is cereal milk. If you want this yummy tasting protein oatmeal smoothie, use my code GEM and get the <laughs> cereal protein zero milk protein so it is 11 30 and i just finished like doing some client work answering some messages and all that so i'm about to head to the gym and before i head to the gym i always prepare all my ghost all my pre-workout all all of that so right now i'm about to prepare the ghost legend pre-workout in the flavor of sonic cherry limeade and this is so so freaking yummy guys like it actually tastes just like the cherry limeade um and i'm mixing that with the pump and this is basically what i mix in with my <laughs> excuse me pre-workout but it's caffeine free i always mix this in with the cherry limeade or any or any goes pre-workout but this is the one i have so far so i take a scoop of that put in a glass of water and this is actually a new style or color that they just came out with so make sure to check that out and i just take like a add a little bit of water to it so i have the water ready i just gotta mix it all in and i just basically kind of like take it like a shot because i don't like sipping on pre-workout during my workout pre-workout for a reason right i don't like chugging like a big glass of it so i just mix that in i normally like take a little bit less than that but it is so freaking yummy <laughs> today is a full body day cheers super sour oh so after the pre-workout let's get the bcas and the creatine ready right here so bcas are gonna help me preserve my muscles while i'm working out and with the size it's gonna really give me a good pump for my workout so i just take one scoop of here i'm gonna show you what i'm using i'm gonna take one scoop of the bcas and this is in the flavor of green apple i don't know why my there you go it's finally focusing it's sour green apple and this is pretty good tasting and this new cup, one scoop of that, and then I'm gonna add in the creatine, which is the ghost size, and also the sour green apple. So it's not a lot of mixture of flavors, so it's good. It tastes the same, and it tastes like juice. Like it tastes like not juice. It tastes just like the candy, the sour, the warhead, 
the Warhead Sour Green Apple. And what's cool about Ghost is that all of their products, like they actually like collab with the brand like for example the sonic cherry limeade like they actually worked with sonic to get the formula to take the actual i guess the actual ingredients and make it taste just like cherry limeade and mix that in with all the other stuff that goes into pre-workout it's pretty awesome and i think they're the only company that does that so it's pretty unique and then i'll just fill this in with water like all the way because i'll be sipping on this throughout my entire workout all right, let's hit the gym, guys. I just got back from the gym and um, I normally don't buy like protein protein bars but I am in a rush right now I'm doing errands I'm running errands for my parents so like I don't have time to go home and get my protein shakes so I bought this uh, quest bar and this is super macro friendly because it's got 21 grams of protein um, 7 grams of fat and 22 grams of carbs and i normally don't buy this every day but i make room for like extra calories just to just in case i'm running on an emergency like this like obviously i'm not gonna eat quest bar every day because this is not wholesome foods you know like it's just something on the go because i just finished my workout so i need something to like fuel myself immediately since there's no time to go home and do my protein shake i just went and bought this so i'm gonna be eating this so i am finally home from my workout and i ran some errands and i stopped by target and i grabbed the fitbit inspire with a heart tracker heart tracker yeah heart rate tracker um and right now well i just got it so it's kind of like bad timing but i only have 571 steps and i have burned let's see i've burned 916 calories and that exclude the calories i burned during my workout but at target guys check this out well i always get this i always use this for my coffee i never get half and half anymore although i do when i go out to eat because no one really has um no one really has, you know, regular milk. And I stopped by to also grab Ben & Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie. Non-dairy, hello. Um, yeah, so it's really rare to, for me to find non-dairy ice cream. I always get them from Target because I feel like Target's like the only place that I know that gets all these good stuff. But I like to stop by Target once a week, or twice a week to get like a non-dairy non-dairy ice cream and honestly 
this will take me an entire week to finish because I can never finish the whole pint. Um, it takes me forever to finish it. So I'll always like take one scoop a day. So that's kind of like what I eat in a day, I guess. So like I'll take my favorite ice cream and just take one scoop and I'll be satisfied. And it's hard to find ice cream that's like super creamy that's non-dairy because a lot of them, they're creamy because of the dairy in it. Mmm. 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 This is really good. You can definitely taste the fudge. But it's kind of melted because I was in the car for like an hour. So this is what I use for the Smart Greens. Um, it's greens, fruits, veggies, and mushrooms, plus prebiotic and digestive enzymes. So, because I don't consume enough greens for today, and I just get so busy, like, it's easier to, I don't know, prepare foods that are not greens, I guess. But, I'm just so busy throughout the day, I don't have time to cook veggies like that. And, you know, veggies tend to get really old if you don't cook them. I use these but that does not mean i don't eat greens at all like i still do it's just i know i don't consume enough so i take one scoop of this and then add it to like a cup of water that's one scoop that's a big scoop right there i don't take the time to like drink this slow i rush it because i hate the taste of it so as long as i get it in my system I'm good and I'm just gonna chase it down with some water, I guess. Mm. Mm. So I'm about to make some roasted baby potatoes, baby red potatoes with some chicken and I've already made the chicken and I use chicken thighs. Um, the way I meal prep is really different. I don't meal prep for the entire week. I will like cook a small, smaller batch and put it in one container and then just like stuff it in the fridge. <music> Put the stuff in here into one of those Tupperwares. <laughs> oh my god, this is a struggle. I don't even want that one. I want the one behind it. <laughs> and I don't have a stool. So, um, I might have to settle for this one. So this is the chicken thigh that I was telling you guys about. So I've already cooked it and all I have to do is pretty much put it... I'm gonna use four ounces. So I just put all of that until it hits four ounces. And for veggies, I'm gonna use asparagus and mushrooms. So the potatoes are almost done. So I'm just gonna heat this up. That's all of my meal. So this is it. You just pop it in the oven. I mean, microwave. So the potatoes are done and I'm just waiting for this to finish up. Once that's done, I'm gonna put about four ounces on the plate and put the rest back in these little containers. So the next day I don't have to cook anymore. They're already cooked. I just gotta put them in the microwave and heat it up and that's pretty much it. This is pretty much my last big meal of today. This is four ounces of chicken thighs. And this is probably about three ounces of veggies or asparagus and mushrooms. And this is four ounces of red potatoes. And this is probably four, this is, and this is four ounces of red baby potatoes. And the rest I just put in here and I just pop it back. I'll let it cool down and then I'll put it back in the fridge so I can, so I can eat it tomorrow. But this is good for another two to three days. And honestly, when I meal prep, I only meal prep for 
that long two to three days because i don't like my food stale and really dry all right guys so i just finished streaming and so that's pretty much what i eat i'll have like a protein smoothie oatmeal if i'm not consuming a protein bar i'll definitely be like eating some toast or like a flatbread with you know some type of chicken or ground turkey and just like hot sauce but i didn't do that today because i was on the run but that's typically how my day goes like every other day like i'm running errands so like i always forget to bring like an extra protein shake because i don't know i'm always on the rush so i always like when i get home around like afternoon i just eat like a big meal kind of like a big meal but the plate is not big but to me that's typically big and i kind of do some fasting i mean i i guess you could say that i am like doing intermittent fasting because i'll eat from 10 30 and i'll stop eating at like 7 so that's like my feeding window and then after that i don't eat i just drink water last meal is always going to be like some protein shake or something but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys liked it i know like a lot of you guys have been requesting this but this is just for my maintenance like this is what i eat on a daily basis when i'm on maintenance calories but other than that like if i'm on a cut like i will definitely meal prep so if you guys would like to see that please comment down below or give this a thumbs up because once i get enough requests again i'll probably do a meal prep what i eat in a day type of thing on my cut i kind of want to like start a summer cut series and just kind of like show you guys my progress and that'll hold me accountable as well um that'll enforce me to be like all right jen you need to do this cut if you guys have any suggestions requests or anything please comment down below and if you are not subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and click that sub button and click the ring bell button so you get notified and if you do not follow me on my twitter instagram and twitch if you like gaming i i stream um go ahead and follow me at gemzabe anyways thank you guys for watching i will see you all on the next video bye